Hey everybody, this is Dave Bensman with Bensman Home Computer Repair and today I'd like to talk about your recycle bin. Uh, in a different video I covered how to add it to your desktop and in this video I would just like to go a little more in depth about what it is and what the point of it is and maybe how to use it to get more uh, efficiency out of your computer. So basically it's right here. I put it on my desktop. Once again, to get it on your desktop all you have to do if you're on Windows 10 is click the right mouse button on the desktop and then left click where it says personalize. Then left click on the left here where it says themes and then left click where it says desktop icon settings over here and then put a check where it says recycle bin and click OK. That'll put it on your desktop. Now what's the point of the recycle bin? Well Right now, mine's empty, but if I were to go in here and if I were to go and delete something, then it wouldn't be erased off my computer. A lot of people think, well, it's gone, but it's not gone. It's just been put into the recycle bin. So if we open the recycle bin, there it is right there. Now, what I can do is I can click on empty recycle bin and it will be deleted. Or I can just leave it there and at a later date, if I decide that I want it back, all I have to do is right click. That means click on this file with my right mouse button and then left click where it says restore. And if I do that and then I go back here and then go back to pictures, there it is again. So that's a great way to correct a mistake you might have made in deleting something. So another thing you can do with your recycle bin is let's say you've uh, let's say you've got a bunch of pictures and let's say you decided to delete them all. Now as you can see they're all in the recycle bin. If we uh, right click on some of this white space in the recycle bin and then go to view and then medium icons and left click there they all are uh, we can see them there let's say we want to put them back on our desktop you can click on either right click on one of them and left click on restore that'll restore one of them or you can click on restore all items and it'll ask you if you're sure and then you can left click on yes there they are all back again so that is another way the recycle bin can help you manage your data. Now the recycle bin will hold your information forever, but it does have a limit. So if we left click on the recycle bin properties, we notice that my recycle bin is 4,973 megabytes. And that's all it'll hold. That's what I have it set at. And if I try to put more information in the recycle bin, than 4,973 megabytes. It will accept it, but it will push out the oldest file and permanently delete it. So that's kind of how the recycle bin manages uh, itself and so that it doesn't get out of hand size-wise. You can also, right here, select uh, don't move files to the recycle bin, Mo remove them immediately when deleted. I don't ever recommend people do that uh, because we all make mistakes, we all delete things that we shouldn't, and uh, the having things go to the recycle bin is a great way to uh, have a kind of a get out of jail free card on that. So that's uh, basically what your recycle bin can do for you, that's how to use it. Uh, I hope everybody found this video to be helpful, and if so, please like and share it, and please subscribe to my channel. And if anybody's in the Memphis, Germantown, Cordova, Millington, Bartlett area and you need in-home computer repair support, please feel free to call me, Dave Bensman, at Bensman Home Computer Repair at 901-830-4362. And as always, stay safe.